A mother and her four kids are being kicked out of their house two and a half years after being set up in El Sereno's temporary housing program. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf spoke with the mother tonight. He's live outside that home. Matthew. Oh, well, Alex, Christine, right now there are about 20, maybe even 30 protesters outside and inside this home. You can see the sign, housing, not policing. And right around the corner, the highway patrol possibly waiting to arrest some of these people. Now, the woman that lives here was evicted just moments ago. Hey. should be. Protesters squaring off with California Highway Patrol Wednesday at this home in El Sereno. The demonstrators moving inside the house as CHP evicts a mother of four who had been living here in temporary housing. My kid's dad and um, my mom, they're kind of like all that like I pretty much have right now. We met Thelma McKinley as she finished packing. A it was $200 a month, okay. the rent, which was extremely, I mean, reasonable. Like. She and her four kids have been living at this home on Shelley Street since 2021 as she battled medical and mental health issues. After this, I might um, be forced, like push comes to shove, I might have to get a job. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, I'm not, work has not been my focus. It's been rehabilitating and regaining my memory. It's inhumane for Hawk Lion and their management to just throw people into the streets when they're using public resources. The neighborhood is being leased by the Housing Authority of Los Angeles to give those who are homeless temporary transitional housing. They provided um, a roof over me and my kid's head. California state code requires transitional housing to last a maximum of two years. So for Thelma and her kids, unfortunately, time is up. What about the argument that she had two years to, to find a forever home? Well, it's Hawkless' our responsibility to support them with that. These are uh, public resources that should be uh, holistic in a sense. Protesters not giving up as Thelma and her kids leave with an uncertain future. Would you recommend this program for other people that, you know, need the help? Absolutely. I think that for other people that, um, that needs the help, I think uh, with a different mindset from what I've, what I had, with a more mindset of using it as a stepping stone, I think this is an absolutely great opportunity for other people. We did reach out to the housing authority, but so far we haven't heard back. As for these protesters, you can see that they have the snacks and the water out, the drinks. They're not planning to leave anytime soon. We'll have an update coming up at 6. Reporting live, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.